So the plan today is to attempt to get a ride at Udon. It's about an hour away from Phnom Penh. But before we get into that, I want to talk about two things I use on my daily basis that are just sitting in my pockets that are very important to get by every day. Here's one. My third night flashlight. You guys already know about this. It's the same powerful flashlight I used to film in the Paris catacombs. It can pretty much blind someone, but it's very good for filming. And it has a great battery in here, which we'll get into. And the second thing, this is what saves my life to get around everywhere. This power bank. It's the smallest, look at this, it's in my hand. So when I'm over there using my GPS and I'm traveling around out on my phone every single day, this thing is plugged into my phone and you don't even notice it because it fits in your pocket with your phone. This is my favorite power bank because I hate using those overly large ones when I travel because it's just, it takes up so much space. So what's good about it is that it's a 2.4 amp, so it charges very fast. And if you want to charge the power bank itself, it's a 3 amp, so it charges quick and it charges your phone quick. It's God mode. But here's where it gets sexy. Inside here lies this battery. It's a 3,400 mAh. Very powerful battery, huge. Same battery I use to power up my flashlight. Same battery. So let's say my flashlight battery died, or let's say my power bank battery died, and I'm over there and I need both, or I need one or the other. Pretty much I can switch and use one or the other. So it, it helps and it works both. It's like a combo in my pocket. Best thing ever. So if you are interested in the 30 night battery, just check on the description below. You'll see a 5% off and the website to Amazon, all that good stuff. We actually got, <laughs> we actually found a Tuk Tuk and we negotiated a price to bring us there and back for $50. It's an hour and 16 minutes there, an hour and 16 minutes back. Now, I'm gonna give him 25 to start, and when I leave, I'll give him another 25, so I make 50. If you give some the full price, they'll just take off and never come back. So, you know, I'm not getting scammed anywhere. And I mean, I could've rented my own, like I said, I could've got my own motorcycle. I didn't feel safe though, um, just enough. I didn't feel that confident for that long drive. But hey, it's working out for us. The further we go out of Phnom Penh, the more crazy things get, and the less people we see. We're on crazy dirt roads right now, there's bumps all over the place, it's like we're on off-roading, and I love it. Things are getting hectic. <laughs> and we're just on a tuk-tuk, going over an hour and a half drive, which is pretty cool. Look at this, new construction right here. Woo. Pretty sure that's the way in. Alright. We told our homie tuk-tuk driver to wait there, and we'll be back for him. I don't even know if this is the right way, but we're gonna be going up the hill, up a mountain to get to the top. I mean, there's like five different entrance ways. So I don't know if this is actually the right one. We'll figure it out. It's so quiet and we didn't even see anyone here. Which is good for us. It has that ancient feeling here. Check out these statues. This is getting interesting. I haven't even been at the top yet. I feel like I'm away from society. Just a few local people here who live here. Going up to here, it was like the gravestone or something, memorial. But I don't know what it says. And look up here. His head's missing. What's interesting too is that in the woods, like at different angles, you'll see like statues and some of them are destroyed. But well, check out this guy. You know he's old. Whoa. Just random feet. Oh, what? This is what I like. Just look at these staircases. All the leaves and everything just falling down naturally, just filling it up. And look at this guy. So peaceful. Check him out. He looks a lot different from the statues now. As if like they improved over time in making sculptures. Some more. Whoa, check out his eyes. Oh, hell no. Okay, time to go back up. I'm attempting to go up now. Apparently, the locals told me that John went this way. I'm just gonna listen to them. They barely speak English, but they seen John holding the camera. 
American, yeah. There he, there he is. Yo, John! <laughs> Holy crap, it's the heat, man. I swear I'm in shape, though. I swear. I do have only Pocari sweat in my bag, but only one can. Could have packed more water, though. Wouldn't have hurt. It's all part of the adventure. Wait, John! Wait for me! <laughs> we can see it right there. Looks cool. I like how the uh, pink flowers are around it. Ah, oh, well, fine. Let's go! Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I can always run from the popo. Uh. Oh snap, dude, that's sick! There's a lot of things I want to say about this temple. Nothing history, <laughs> nothing history related either. It's like, look at it. If you look at it, it looks like there's absolutely no color, and it's just a simple beta model. As if they put this here like a video game, and it's not textured or colored yet. It's just an unfinished product. And it's cool. It's really cool. I've never seen any temple like this. It's like an all-white or grayish tint temple. Just designed, and that's it. Yo, as you come up the stairs, everything just opens up. The whole view opens up. You're, you're, pa you're above the trees now. Damn. This is the spot, John. This is the spot? Dude. I'm coming. Yo, oh man, this is so cool. I just don't think it's crazy, the whole adventure to get here. Like, we took an hour and, no, it took two hours to get here on the tuk-tuk. The car takes an hour and 16 minutes, so the tuk-tuk being slower took two hours to get here. But seriously, man, this is, this is our base. But, damn. The way they carved this is unbelievable. We're gonna do a slow-mo of this, ready? Look at this. Check the designs. We're coming up hot, ready, bam. Check out that sexy elephants right there. Then we come up again. Look at that. Can't get any better than this. Don't even get me started on the door, boys and girls. I wanna know what's in here. To give you an idea how big this place is, John's right there, he looks like an ant. There's some floors down there where people are chilling. This place is amazing. Really is amazing though. We came in time, there's a cool family here relaxing and praying and stuff. We're just snapping pics too, hanging out here. So I'm having the best time of my life for the past six or seven days right now. It's only gonna get better. But there's something I wanna talk about, that's my content. And, what's the, and what kind of content's coming out for the next month or so. Um, I'm here for another seven or eight days and maybe there's about, maybe one band in place within the next whole month. And so I, had, I got some comments recently and they're like, oh, I've only subscribed to watch your abandoned stuff. Well, my channel is Exploring with Josh and I made my channel originally and the first, I've, the first video I've ever put up was not even an abandoned video. As much as I love doing abandoned videos and, and, and everything, they're not always gonna be on my channel. I'm always gonna be posting exploring stuff as in like traveling the world and seeking adventures. Um, some areas I go to, there's a lot of abandoned places. If there's a lot of abandoned places, that's what I've always done first. That's my priority. I love doing abandoned stuff. But I'm not always going to go to areas where abandoned places are just going to be there. And when that happens, I still like to film and vlog and chill and just share my adventures with you guys. You guys don't have to watch them. And for the people that only are here for my abandoned, that's cool because I can't please any, everybody. And I do, I, I actually love filming abandoned, but I also love filming everything. Exploring, sharing all this, and, and putting my memories online so then I could also come back and v review them too. And it's for just everyone to see, even my family. So, um, for the people who do only want to see my abandon, you don't have to click any of my videos. And if you want to watch the abandon, my abandoned videos will have the title abandon in it and then so and so. Or it might look like an abandoned video from the title, and if it is, watch it. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. I, I'm fine with if you guys unsubscribe because you only like my abandon, it's all good. Um, I'm not mad or anything. I love you guys. <laughs> John's chilling with the locals. Hey, they're, it's actually growing over here. Like the, the grass and stuff on the temple. Let's get more over here. Ugh. This is cool. These are my favorite looking ones. There's even a green lake down there. I forgot my shoes over there. I'm going barefoot right now. But other people are doing it. They seem to be okay. I'm going too. Oh, just noticed his face. This is exactly what I live for. I don't even know what was going to be over here. I just seen one Google picture and I was like, I'm going. I didn't even want to spoil it. I just went for it. 
and it's cool because I get the general surprise and it's all raw stuff. I'm not faking anything. You, you see what I see and we go, we just have fun. Here's what's going on at the bottom of the hill. A lot of monks live here. You can tell a lot of monks live here. The clothing's hanging up. Now this is cool. All their heads are gone though. They're very old. If you are right there. So after examining this for the past five minutes, these guys were all lined up and they were worshipping the big guy who was right here. Oh, the and, face. The oh. Face, no. Oh. And his whole face was... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That's his face. All right. Yeah, his face was right there. Everything, all the dots connect together now. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so pretty much everyone here, there's a lot of people, they're worshipping a big Buddha that was literally right here in the spot. The feet's there. Face is there. And pretty much this is his whole body. This is insane. That definitely was a good way to end this mountain adventure. Heading down now for real. I wonder if our Tuk Tuk driver is still there. That's something I'm very curious about. I mean, he definitely has to be if he wants $50. Pretty sure he'll be waiting there. I hope. Dude. He's just like, yeah, I'm cool. I'm a gangster. Oh my god. Still like humans and everything. He's just he, de like he definitely likes us. Yeah. Would you, he's the star of this video. He literally walked up here when we came here. Like, he wasn't even here. Yeah, he... He literally just joined in when yeah. we just started walking by. I feel like we can just talk to him and he'll, he'll reply to us. Look at him. Oh. He's itching his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Our homie waited for us. <laughs> he chilled and waited the whole time, which is good. Time to get back. I'm ending the video here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to me, subscribe to John, subscribe to the whole exploring crew. Subscribe to the uh, bike, the Tuk Tuk guy. Subscribe to the Tuk Tuk guy if he does even have a YouTube channel. I'm off, man. I'm so beat. I'm just gonna go home and sleep now. Probably get a sushi buffet or something. Yeah.